Welcome, everyone. So we started this a long time ago with a belief that at the time seemed very unusual, uh, which was that AI progress was about to go very rapid. And we thought that if AI happened, if, if AI fulfilled the dream, uh, when we still have a long way to go, but we've made a lot of progress since, then it was going to be the most powerful tool that humans had yet created. That it we came up with a simple plan. And that plan didn't change much since then, and I don't think it will change much going forward. And it had four big steps. Currently, every two seconds, someone new is joining the network. We are at 15 million total users, 7 million of which verified with an orb. This is, of course, just the bare beginning, just like truly the super early beginnings of what we are trying to do, because the mission here is to truly bring the service to every human. And that's why we built the orb, which is an inclusive and secure, as well as an anonymous way to solve the proof of human problem at global scale. And today, we will talk about the next generation of the orb, something we worked on really hard for quite a while and are really excited about. Today, I'm incredibly excited to announce our new orb and the spaces it will live in. The orb is a very important part of our experience that we deliver to our users. It's a bit of a temple, a place to visit to get verified, but it's also designed with the values of a public space. It's inviting, simple, peaceful. It's focusing on the user, on the orb, and the verification. So here it is. Here's the new orb. So besides being just incredibly beautiful, it was designed from the ground up with scale in mind. The entire software stack was completely rewritten for all orbs to enable verifications three times faster than before. The new orb was designed with 30% fewer parts, and it enables us to assemble them at twice the speed. Initially, we're tripling the production capacity of the orb with plans to increase that even further with new assembly partners and locations around the world. We're making progress towards the ultimate goal of decentralized orb manufacturing. The latest orb is built with uh, the NVIDIA Jetson architecture, which has five times the AI performance over the previous generation. It's capable of 100 trillion operations per second. So this enables the new orb to execute sophisticated AI models that prove humanness and operate entirely on device and even faster than before. The new orb was built with more transparency and the ability to audit the code that's running on it. It has a fully removable SD card that contains all the operating instructions. We'll continue to expand our operations into even more countries than we're in today. And if you don't want to go find an orb, that's okay. So starting today, we're announcing a new feature called Orb On Demand. This will enable anyone with the touch of a button to request an orb come to them. Much like a pizza you would have delivered to your apartment. You can... And lastly, I want to talk about a new type of operator we're starting today called community operators. So anyone can rent or buy the new orb to verify anyone in their community. And starting in the spring of 2025, it'll be delivered to you. <clears throat> so let's talk about World ID. World ID will be the anonymous human layer for the internet. Today, we will release the next version of WorldID, WorldID 3.0. We developed something that we're now calling the anonymized multi-party computation. The key attribute that it provides is the ability to take a piece of data, know whether it is unique, but know nothing else about that piece of data on an individual basis. Multi-party is a really important part of this because the data is broken into pieces that can't be brought back together and shared with different parties and then through a lot of math that Remco will talk about a little bit later today gives us that key attribute of it being anonymous. Because we are so committed to privacy, that passport information is only ever going to be on your phone. We're not copying it up into the cloud. We're not making an instance of it and putting it into the back end. You will hold the information about your passport on your device and AMPC will be used to do uniqueness check. And we're rolling out in a number of countries. Today, United States passports work. Today, passports from uh, uh, a number of other countries are also in development, and we're rolling them out uh, over the next couple of weeks. As we were looking at this challenge of deep fakes, we began thinking, is this something that we can help? 
solve. And it turns out we can. We can connect those two things together combined with a challenge being issued by the person who wants to make sure that the person they're interacting with in a given transaction is actually the same face as what it is that they're seeing online or what it is that's been presented to them in the past. And so we call that World ID Deep Face. Uh, we're announcing it today. We're working on a uh, beta of it right now. This is going to be coming out very shortly. And it will work with all of the applications that currently use uh, video. So it's not dedicated to any one of them. World App now also supports the new World ID credentials, which means that you can now add things like your passport or your driver's license to your World ID to be able to prove things about yourself in the internet without compromising your anonymity. And lastly, World App will, of course, later this fall, allow you to prove not only that you're a real and unique person, but that you are who you say you are, powered by World ID DeepFace. So that's World App 3.0. It's a super app for humans built on your identity, finance, and community. It's going to be available today, and we can't wait for all of you to try it. Thank you. Starting today, what has been called WorldCoin will be just called World. And so that is it with the main talk for today. Uh, so thank you all for coming. It's a big honor to have you here, and we hope to have many exciting updates to share next year. Thank you.